Welcome to PointYC's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we continue our description of the options available in the Global tab inside the new Automatic Surface Mesh functionality. As you can see, the Global tab is divided into four frames. We have described the options in the first two frames in a separate video, which is linked in the description. The options right here allow you to actually set the goals for your surface mesh. As you can see, you can specify the maximum aspect ratio. And as the name says, this is the maximum aspect ratio of those anisotropic cells created by the 2D T-Rex algorithm. This option right here is the boundary growth rate, which is going to be used in two ways. First, it's going to be used by the 2D T-Rex algorithm as the growth rate, and it's also going to be used to compute the boundary decay of domains. This option right here allows you to specify the algorithm to be used. If you select the advancing front option, that tells pointwise that the isotropic portion of your surface mesh is to be populated with triangular cells, which are going to be created by the advancing front algorithm. If you choose this option right here, quad dominant, that is telling point wise that the isotropic portion of your surface mesh is to be filled with triangular and quadrilateral cells that are going to be created by the advancing front ortho algorithm. This button right here is the show size field. That option right there is going to allow you to compute the size field on the geometry at hand. The size field is very useful because it will allow you to very quickly visualize the distribution of target edge length throughout your geometry without actually having to create the surface grid. The options that you see in this table are three of the most basic quality metrics that you can use to basically check the quality of the surface mesh that has been created. As you can see, for each one of these metrics, you can specify a threshold. You can also visualize the number of cells that go above that threshold, as well as the maximum value for each one of these metrics. You can also check on these checkboxes to visualize the cells that go above the threshold. Last but not least, the Create Surface Mesh button is the button that you're going to push to basically create your surface mesh. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.